as we head our quadrants, we need also to understand the signs, the signs that can be used in each quadrant. Remember, we have got four quadrants from the word quad. There are four quadrants that are subdivided from the 360 degrees. Depending with the way you are taking your angles, remember I talked about this before, that taken angles in the positive is positive. That is, you are referring in the anticlockwise. You are taking these angles as positive, the so 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 306, uh, 360 degrees. It is because of positive angles that you are referring to. These are positive angles, the way that you are taking anti-clockwise. If these angles were going to be referred as negative angles, as we are supposed to also understand this, if they were to be referred to as negative angles, it means this will be at zero degrees, which is fine. That's our starting point. But now we are moving this way in the clockwise direction for negative angles. Meaning to say this will be minus 90 degrees. Moving on to the other part that we are having, minus 180 degrees, minus 270 degrees, back to minus 360 degrees. You are now referring these as what? Negative angles. You are now referring these angles as negative angles. So in the simplification now, how do we approach the signs in terms of the quadrants? All right, so these are negative angles, remember? Negative angles. How do we approach the signs in each quadrant? In each and every quadrant, remember the way that we take our quadrants, we take this as the first quadrant. We take them this way, as of the positive angles to say 0, 9, they, they are taking it in, the, in this issue of a positive angle as they are positive. So you say first, second. So this is our first quadrant. All right, when I consider first quadrant there, Followed 90 to 180, second quadrant. The third quadrant, and so on. And we're going to talk of the fourth quadrant. So in the same manner of the negative angles, we still take the same way. That part does not change, like first quadrant. We, we, we do not want to confuse ourselves to say, this will be the first, this will be we just take this way. So what is it that we are supposed to take in terms of the ratios now? Because the concept when you're talking about the signs that are in the fourth, in these four quadrants, the signs, it's not about which sign like, am I going to have to say positive? It's all about the, the angles, the, the, the ratios. So when I'm talking about the signs, I'm talking about the signs affecting the ratios, the trigonometric ratios. And the ratios that you're going to talk about, the basic, will be a ton. Sign and cost, those that we are used to. So it follows that in the first quadrant, we can use what we refer to as the cast concept, which can define this in an easier way. Cast, taking from the fourth, cast, like that. Some, they take it like this. All students take calculus in that manner. If you want to focus with maintaining the first quadrant, all students take calculus to me for you to know this. Or you can just use the cast as we... You have been having this. You are using the cast. You are starting from the fourth going this way now. Just be careful on that part. So it tells us 
what is happening on these angles. The A representing all, meaning to say all, tan is positive, cos is positive, and the sign, all this, this one that we are seeing here, anything that carries a sign, all they are positive. So that sign is positive, cos is positive, tan is also cos all. So meaning to say, even if it was that way here for a negative angle, an angle which is here and it's a negative, what does it mean? That ratio is going to be a positive. Involving also anything that carries that sign or that cause or that turn. When I'm saying anything that carries a turn, let's say a court, you are given to simplify court 30 degrees. Remember, court is taken from a turn. We talked about this. One over what? A turn. 30 degrees. So the moment that you're you are talking of one over a turn like this one, one over a turn, it's turn that we are talking about and that turn is positive. So one over a positive number, it tells us the answer is going to be a positive. Remember, we are talking about the signs that affect the ratio to say, is the answer going to be positive or negative? So anything that is affected there is positive. We talk of a sec. 40 degrees, it is taken from where? From a cos, 1 over cos 40 degrees. So if cos is positive there, it means also a sec is positive. That is the idea. So when I was talking about the negative angles, it's still one and the same. As a negative angle, we're, talking, we're saying any angle which is lying from minus 270 to minus 360, any angle which lies there, if they are negative angles, any angle, its corresponding trigonometric ratio is going to be a positive. That part is not going to change. Let's think of any angle in within this interval. Minus 272, minus 360. Let us just say we've got minus 275 degrees. It follows that the sign of this is going to be positive. The sign of minus 275 because of where it lies at the end, it is going to lie in the first quadrant. The answer is going to be a positive number. Whatever that you get there will be positive. The sign, uh, I mean the cost, you consider the cost of minus 275 degrees. The answer that you're going to get is going to be a positive. Talk about the turn. The turn of this, I want you to use your calculator there. You will see that whatever answer that you're getting there is a positive. Talk of that you've got a cos of negative 275 degrees. You're going to get something which is uh, 0 0.087, which is a positive. You have a sign of minus 275 degrees. You're going to get something like 0 0.996, something like that, which is a positive. That's what we're saying. The answer there is a positive. As long as it comes back to the first quadrant, the trigonometric ratio which will lie there, each trigonometric ratio which lies in the first quadrant will be positive. Whether it was taken from a negative angle or it was taken from a positive angle, as long it lies back to the first quadrant, it is going to be a positive. So in the same manner, it follows that any angle that lies in the second quadrant, there it is only the part that a sign is affected to be a positive. So it's only a sign which will be positive. So what does it mean about these remaining two, the tan and the cos? They'll be negative. Tan will be negative in this quadrant. Cos will be negative in this quadrant. From 90 to 180, talking of positive angles. From minus 180 to minus 270, talking of negative angles, anything that lies there, only a part of a sign is the one that carries a positive. And anything that associates 
with that sign. So meaning to say, a sign of 120 degrees, 120 is between 90 and 180. I don't need to use the calculator. Like I just need to know like the answer is going to be positive or negative. That's a positive because it's sign. It lies there. Second quadrant. If it was a cos, if you use a calculator to simplify cos minus 120, you will see that your, answer, your calculator is giving you a negative value. You get a negative value from there. So this is what you need, guys. In each and every, it's going to be like that. So you're not going to waste much time. Let's move on to tan. Uh, the third quadrant, it's only tan that we have. So it is the tan there, which is positive. So what does it mean about the sine and the cos in that manner? They will be negative. The sine will be negative. The cos will be negative. In the fourth quadrant, what is that we have? It's for cos. It's only cos, which is positive there. So what, are, what does it mean about these two that are remaining? The sine and the tan. It will be negative. Anything that associates with the tan, with the sine in the fourth quadrant will be negative. Whether you're talking from the positive side or from the negative side. As long it lies back in this quadrant, fourth quadrant, any angle in the fourth quadrant. So let's say we put sine 300 degrees. It is more than 270, but less than 360, meaning to say it is in the fourth quadrant. The answer that you get there will be a negative answer. You get a negative answer there. If you decided maybe the angle there was given as a negative sine of minus in between this, this quadrant, we're talking about the fourth quadrant from zero to minus 90, let's say you're given to simplify sine minus 30 degrees. Your answer, the answer that you're going to get there was going to be a negative. Because sine in the fourth quadrant is negative as long it lies back to the fourth quadrant. But for a cos, it's going to be positive. Even if you find a cos like this, cos minus uh, 45 degrees, cos, as long it is in within this fourth quadrant, as long whether it is taken as a positive angle, cos 45 degrees like this, the answers that you're going to get there, they will be positive. It That is the special part of these quadrants now. As long it is for cos in these in this, in this fourth quadrant, cos will be positive. And anything that associates with that cos, meaning to say the reciprocal of a cos is going to be positive also. The reciprocal of a sine will be negative. The reciprocal of a tan will be negative. So that is the part of your uh, quadrants. So in this case, I do not want us to simplify anything. I just want us to state whether the following values will be positive or negative. If we simplify this, we just need to refer to the deck. We do not want to calculate. No calculators. All right. Let's say we're given a question like that. Referring. Uh, we're going to referring uh, only to the diagram. Only to the diagram. Okay, referring only to the diagram. Okay, uh, then like what we have here, state whether, uh, state whether the following values, the following values will be positive or negative, will be positive or negative. If we are to use this understanding, some of this is important for you to not to, to be careful about. Because they are going to give us questions that you need this understanding. So they will give you like questions for just to refer to say, is it going to be a positive answer or not? Let's say we are given a turn 176 degrees. Is it going to be positive or negative? If we simplify, you, if you use a calculator, the calculator gives you an answer and you can see, okay, it, uh, you just use your calculator, a turn of 176 degrees, you get a negative, negative, 
0.06. We do not want to use a calculator. We want to tell from the diagram here, is it positive or negative? 176. 176 is in between what? 90 to 180 is a positive angle from 90 to 180. And from 90 to 180, we can see that it is given there that tan is negative. Tan will be negative. In the second quadrant, tan is going to be a negative. So even if you are given like uh, a reciprocal, like I said, let's say you're given uh, to find something like sec 98 degrees. Where is sec taken from? Remember, sec is the reciprocal. You've taken from the reciprocal of what? Of a cos. This was cos 98. So all you just need is to, okay, if it is a reciprocal of a cos, if cos is positive here, it means this will be positive. If cos is negative here, it means this is also negative. So we need to tell about this cos 98. Where does it lie? In which quadrant do we have 98 degrees? Which quadrant? 98 is more than 90, but less than one in this quadrant. Second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, what is it that we consider cos? Cos is what there? Cos is a negative. So if in the second quadrant, this cos here is a negative, therefore this sec also will be a negative. The reciprocal affects also that. Sign that is there also affects. So those are the questions that we just need to tell, like whatever that you are given uh, with the quadrant that you have, like which quadrant are you given that? Which quadrant? Just like that. So this is what you need. Let us just work with uh, our quadrants. Understanding of these quadrants is going to help us now even if you are to solve equations, as long you understand this. So like I said, they can also be negative. They can give you a negative angle. You just need to figure out tan minus 30 degrees. Is it going to be positive or negative? Minus 30, where is minus 30? According to negative angles, minus 30 is an angle between zero and minus 90 in within. Meaning to say we are talking of what? The fourth quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, tan is what? In the fourth quadrant, we are talking about the fourth quadrant. Tan is what? Tan is a negative. So the answer that we're going to get there was going to be a negative. But the moment that it was something like tan minus 120 degrees, this was not going to give us a negative. No. It wasn't going to give us a negative because of what? Minus 90 to minus 180. That is where we have tan minus 120 in within this. So if it is that way, we are in the third quadrant where tan is the quadrant of a tan. Remember, in the third quadrant, tan is positive there. So meaning to say tan minus 120, if I use a calculator to simplify this, the answer that I'm going to get there is what? Is a positive. That's the whole idea of this. They just need you to understand the basics of your quadrants. From the cast concept that we talked about here, it can help us just to tell, referring to the diagram to say the answer is positive or the answer there will be a negative at the end.